So this morning I'm with Jean-Yves Legault, President of the IAF. Why are these congresses so significant? Because in fact uh, we are back to Australia, it's the first time for the last 20 years and this is at a time which is very exciting in space activity because we have here a lot of newcomers from emerging countries, from people from, from the new space, the internet world and it's a great time to meet here in Adelaide. So what happens throughout the process of this Congress? In fact, for this Congress, we will have around 5,000 people. We will meet, we have all the heads of space agencies worldwide. We have people coming from permanent players, from well-established players, from startup companies, a lot of students, and it's a place to be during one week. During one week, Adelaide is a center of space and definitely the center of the universe. And so what do you hope delegates take away from this Congress? It's a global view of space activity today, but perhaps with something, a taste of modernity, because here in Adelaide, a lot of things are occurring. We have a lot of dynamism, a lot of young people with new ideas and so on. And so, from what I saw yesterday and the day before yesterday, I can tell you that this Congress will be very, very successful. And so this is the 68th Congress. What's new particularly for this one in Adelaide? We have a lot of evolution in the field of space. The cost of accessing to space is lower and lower and now you have people developing small satellites the size of a shoebox. A few years ago it was the size of a small car and you could imagine. And so a lot of people, a lot of young people are involved in space with new ideas, new applications and it's a sector which is growing up very, very fast. And so what do you think about Australia and uh, its starting a space agency? I think that this is uh, an excellent move because in fact Australia is a very great space power. You have a very prominent industry with a lot of skills, a lot of new ideas and uh, having a space agency will allow Australia to define a space policy and uh, to uh, gather all the efforts which are made for the development of space and so I welcome this new idea. And what do you see for the future of space? The future of space is, I think, that uh, we have uh, three key points. The first one is innovation. And uh, where you go into this Congress, you will see innovation. Innovation, it means startups, young people thinking differently. The second point uh, is uh, climate, because uh, you see space is the best way to observe uh, and to tackle climate change. Uh, when uh, you want to define uh, what is the climate, the status of the climate, we define 50, 50 essential climate variables and out of them 26 can be observed only from space and so satellites are key if you want to observe climate change. And the third issue is of course exploration and exploration here you will see that everyone speaks about Mars and it will be the next new frontier. We went to the moon about 50 years ago and the next one will be Mars. How long do you think it's going to take? I think that uh, we will have uh, probably a human mission to Mars in the decade 2030. So in fact, it's uh, in 15 years from now. It's not so long. Exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.